I said, I got to figure out how to get athletes involved. Well, one thing about an athlete is, you know, we get approached on a lot of things because it's not a secret. We make a lot of money to play a game and to be a kid. And so we get approached on a lot of things. A lot of people are saying, can you give to this? Or can you help with this or this or that? And so most stuff gets thrown in the trash because we don't know you. I mean, I've even got guys that are saying, hey, I want to invest in this. Do you want to give me money to invest? I'm like, what? That works? Like, I don't know who you are. And you just randomly want me to give you money? Like, so we got all these people asking for money. And so we understand that. So what, we, what, what, what athletes have is that we got a little bond. And if another player comes up to him and says, hey, this is my thing I've got going. I want you to think about maybe helping me. We'll trust that. Because we're with these guys more than we're with our own wives during the season. So they're like close brothers, man. We'll trust them. And so what we do is we, we get into those situations. Well, what I've also learned, when, especially when it comes to trafficking, is a lot of, one, men are embarrassed by it. I can tell you that. Because once you start feeling, figuring out where the trafficking's at, it's the, the internet porn industry, the, the strip club industry, all this stuff. Guys are like, ooh, you know, I don't know. You, know, you, you all of a sudden they quiet down pretty quick. Because it's embarrassing. Because they, they're like, man, I've supported that. Like, I don't know if I want to really be you know, available for that. I mean, it's kind of a good cause. But, but all the girls are piled in here. Like, yeah, let's fight for them. You know? No, we need more guys to fight for them. It's, but what I've realized is when the wife throws the elbow and says you're going to do it to, a te- to their husband who's an athlete, it gets done. I'll say that right now. And my wife looks at me and she says, you're writing a check? I'm like, okay, how many, uh, here you go. You know, it's you know, how it is. So I basically got the guys together. We have... We have these Bible studies in spring training in Arizona. We got like five of them and going. Well, all the wives show up for it. So Dave came down. We went into each Bible study and we, we promoted this deal. And I talked to the athletes. I know every single one of those players in there. And I talked to them from my perspective. And then I looked at the wives and I said, this is a huge deal for you as well. Because one thing about baseball wives that you will understand that my wife, it'll drive, my wife's a little bit of a spitfire. Uh, that's an understatement. But um, she's, her daddy's a big business owner, and she's got her, her dad's personality. And so it's, it's, it's not good whenever we go to these functions and like, oh, so you're Jeremy's wife. And I'm like, oh, oh, no. And my wife goes, no, I'm actually, my name is Larissa, not Jeremy's wife. And I'm like, I look at her, that's a bad idea. Dude. You better not do that again. <laughs> you know, it's not good, man. She has her own identity, you know. And so uh, she doesn't like to be identified as that, as Jeremy's wife, you know. So... Uh, um, so, I, so it's one of those things where I talk to the wives and I say, this is a huge role for everybody. And we need to know, I, I said, I'm not trying to generalize women, but they consume a lot and a lot. And, uh, and so we got to understand where we're consuming. We got to understand where we're buying. And so I talked to them about it and I said, guys, look, I understand that we're focused on baseball, but we can do something while we play baseball to help this out. We can have goals. And I was able to get 17 guys signed up for this thing called for free to play. And all 17 t- these guys become a free-to-play all-star. And it's on the website, and Facebook Causes has it. And they made an app for us. And what they, these guys now, you can pull up, and it'll show you what they donate for. This is what they're donating. This is, and then you can join them. You can say, well, my favorite player is uh, uh, Matt Holliday. Good friend of mine, he does. He gives 500 a homer. You can go up there and say, you know what? I'll give 25 cents for every homer he gets. And you can actually put that on. On the, uh, and have your own, you can build your own team, you can design your own fantasy team, you can pick a favorite player out. And so we designed this deal where fans could join us and help us out because that's what we need. A lot of people think athletes that make tons of money, we can do it ourselves. That doesn't make sense. Because you can get big organizations that give a big chunk of money, you can get like four or five of those that give a lot of money, but most of the time, the causes and the movements that accelerate are the ones that have a bunch of people, just people who are saying, I want to promote this, I want to help this out, giving a little bit of money. That's how, that's how movements start, and that's how they generate energy.